me, spring is the most transitional season. Here in Northern Idaho, winters are often longer than I wish them to be, and while spring brings a new sense of hope for warmer days, it doesn't usually deliver them. So as I wait for my preferred hot summer days, I find this transitional time of year perfect for not only refreshing and preparing, but also for exploring both new and old hobbies since we will still have a number of weeks left before life becomes bustling and lively again. Every spring through fall, we love to grow vegetables, but never have I tried my hand at planting early flowers indoors from seeds. During the previous winter, I read the book Miracles on Maple Hill by Virginia Sorensen. In that book, a young girl moves from the city to the country and discovers how healing and magical the natural world can be. As I was reading her thoughts on watching the seasons change and all of the appreciation she had towards the trees and plants, I became very inspired to make sure to include more flowers in my garden, so that is why I'm finally giving it my first attempt to grow some flowers to enjoy through the seasons to come. The funny thing about spring is that there is always so much cleaning up to do outside, but you never exactly know when you can do it. Temperatures here during springtime range anywhere from 30 degrees Fahrenheit to 70 degrees, and we experience everything from rain, sleet, snow, hail, wind, and sunshine, sometimes all within even the same day. So when the sun does happen to come out and the temperatures are pleasant enough, I go outside and start the yard cleanup.
It's always the right time of year to bake a treat and spring is no exception. We have a handful of spring birthdays in my family, so we often have cake during these months. My mom baked this vanilla custard flavored dream cake for my sister's birthday, so in the spirit of the season, I'm going to decorate it with fluffy whipped cream and fresh fruit. I know Easter is over, but since it was so early this year, I think I'm gonna leave my decorations up for most of April. After all, pastels, flowers, and cute little critters all remind me both of Easter and springtime. Take the exit toward city center, then use the right lane to take the exit toward Morrison Street. This spring, Jose and I went on an adventure to Portland, Oregon. We stayed in a hotel that had a library in it, which was the perfect pregame for one of our main stops and one of the largest bookstores in the whole world, Powell's City of Books. place in New Hampshire, Pumpkin Falls, New Hampshire. To continue our day of shopping, we ended the day by exploring Washington Square Mall. I'll leave a link up above in the cards section, but I did a more in-depth tour of the Bath & Body Works in this mall. You'll have to check it out if you are a Bath & Body Works fan. The 
following day of our adventure took us to an all-day play session at Ground Control Arcade, and we rounded off the evening by going to the Arlene Schnitzer Concert Hall to watch the Sonic Symphony since we are big Sonic the Hedgehog fans. Concert. We got knuckles, tails, some rouge the bat, shadow. We're ready to go. Five, four. Thanks so much for spending time with me as we welcome the arrival of spring. I hope this video gave you some ideas of how to enjoy the new season, whether it's jamming out to a Screamo concert, planting flower seeds, or everything and anything in between. I hope you can try some new hobbies as well as make time to do some of the things that bring you joy, whatever it is. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Until next time, bye.